Hi, I'm here at the World Poker Open with Players TV. Dan, Duncan, and I are prepared to interview all the players as they arrive for the tournament and as they bust out. So come with us as we catch all the action. We're here at the World Poker Open with Annette. So how does it feel to not be playing and just doing the commentary today? I actually enjoy it a lot. I've done, you know, some commentary work in other tournaments before and I think you know, working with Jesse is really fascinating because he's always like really outgoing, enthusiastic, and right. he just seems to love poker more now than ever, <laughs> which is kind of crazy because he's been doing this for such a long time. So do you think this gives you an insight into other people's games? Oh, for sure it does. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I love doing this is because you get to see everyone's whole cards. Like Sorel, he's a player that I've played with a lot, but I've never like seen him play, so mm -hmm. I don't really know what he's doing. So it's very cool for me to be able to actually see what it is he's doing and why he's so good. Right. Same no. with other players as well. Is this information you're planning on using in the World Series coming up? I will be. <laughs> Not gonna lie, of course I will. <laughs> Do you have a plan for the World Series this year? I No, you can't really have a plan in tournaments. <laughs> you just can't, because so much can happen. Right. You never know who you're going to be playing against. You don't know. You don't really know anything <laughs> until you get there. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Now watching this, do you find that American players and European players have different styles of play? Um, I think so. But again, it depends on so much. Like Scandinavian players play very differently to like Italian players, for example. And yes, American players play differently from, you know, any other players out there. And it's just because, you know, they probably have their style of playing and then they teach it to each other right and the same thing happens everywhere else you know because they have like their own communities no mm -hmm. their own groups where you know people share thoughts and stuff and that's just kind of how it happens i guess so who would you most like to play against americans italians scandinavians anyone who's not good at poker i don't <laughs> care where they're from <laughs> do you want to play against amateurs <laughs> yeah. if i could yeah i would <laughs> so you'd probably do really well at the bigger tournaments then <laughs> well i haven't yet still working on that uh well i think you have in the past i, I do believe you've won some pretty major things yeah I, but there were like no amateurs in that so i don't <laughs> do well against amateurs i guess even though i like to play them <laughs> <laughs> now do you have a plan for after the world series are you taking a break or are you going to go oh no on the there, there's no such thing as a break in poker uh going to vegas right after the ebt here in london mm -hmm. and then might go to canada for a little bit and then maybe Back in Europe, playing some of the EPTs, got to Australia in uh, January, wow, and really then it's like all the EPTs again the next year. So yeah, no. <laughs> do you prefer tournaments to cash games? I do. It's not even close. <laughs> that's my forte. You know, that's what I'm good at. That's what I specialize in, and that's where I feel like I can make my money. What makes the cash games and the tournaments different to you? I just think that cash games are kind of boring. I know it sounds weird because there's so much money on the line and stuff, but I, I like the fact that, you know, the blinds change all the time, the stack sizes are different, and you have to consider, like, so many different things than you would if you played in a cash game. And also, like, the price money for first is always, like, huge. Fair enough. Yeah. So doing the commentary today, who do you like to win it? Uh, I think Sandra has been playing really well. Wouldn't be surprised if, if she could win this. I mean, really, everybody's been playing well, so, you know, whoever wins, good for them. Because so they deserve it. Who do you think is going to be the first one out? Whoever has the shortest stack. <laughs> <laughs> Odds are, you know, I don't know. Well, we've seen Tilly shove, Jennifer Tilly shoved, and yet is still in it. So is there, do you think well, she's... There, there hasn't been an all-in showdown yet. There's been all-in moves, but mm -hmm. no all-in called. So, you know, unless that happens, nobody's going to bust. With the blind rounds, when do you think that's going to happen? Because they all seem to be playing pretty conservatively. Uh, for sure, there's going to be at least one all-in this level. <laughs> I'm taking your word for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for talking to us, and I wish you luck in the World Series. Thank you.